नमस्ते एवरी वन आय एम हर्षा चव्हाण फ्रॉम मुंबई वन ऑफ द बी एस मेंबर टुडे इन अवर स्टुडिओ वी हॅव टू डिग्नेटरीज फ्रॉम बी एस अमृता भालेराव फ्रॉम औरंगाबाद नमस्ते अँड मंगला बारवे फ्रॉम डोंबिवली नमस्ते वेलकम बोथ ऑफ यू थँक टुडे वी आर गोईंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट एन सी एफ एस सी एफ करिक्युलम सिलॅबस अँड सिलन फीचर्स ऑफ टेक्स्ट बुक अँड वॉट इज द क्यू आर कोड so i would like to ask first questions to amruta ma'am ma'am can you tell us what are the guiding principles of ncf yes sure ma'am according to the national curriculum fr- framework it's in 2005 we have some guiding principles there is a first principle we have to connect knowledge to the life outside of the schools in the textbook we introduce jungle safari is there shopping how to shop uh many things are included in the textbook then here we have ensure that learning is shifted away from rote method here we are giving them more scope to speak to learn something in day to day manner day to day situations then uh, we are proposing that exam should be flexible yes. there should be no burden of examination yes means examinations should be in flexible and integrated into the classroom life then it is also nurturing and overriding identity within the democratic policy of country so in the present context we are going to follow guiding principles in this textbook yes very nice ma'am thank you my next questions for mangala ma'am ma'am can you tell us what are the suggestions of scf surely ma'am i would like to tell that every child it's unique and important yes. every child should be taken the school involve him and should be provided a quality education yes. study a student's social emotional and physical development yes. is an equally important as compared to in, in, intellectual development every child must get a quality education yes. which he she likes yes. and which helps to develop confidence it also support to enact sympathy yes. and happy environment completing the syllabus is not only the aim of our education it is necessary to make student eligible to get mastery yes. over the all over the subject there should be trust respect sympathy and coordination in the relation among the students and the teacher. teachers and parents and last one each elements in the education system should be authentic and qualitative these all are suggestions of scf very nice ma'am as you rightly mentioned that child is the center of this education system and we have to provide quality education to the student it is our duty and it is our humble request to all the teachers and all the supporters for the education system that we have to follow this ncf and scf guidelines and suggestions my next questions for amruta ma'am yes can you tell us that what are the features of revised syllabus because we came to know from various sources mm. and from various feedbacks that yes. this standard first textbook is very fantastic exactly. and exactly. students exactly. are enjoying it they have lots of fun various yes. activities given yes. and it is innovative yes. in something yes. so can you tell us uh, the fe- uh, features of this revised textbook yes sure ma'am uh, we are going to revise this syllabus this is the first standards english textbook of uh, bal bharati this syllabus is child centered and child friendly then this syllabus is activity oriented we are giving them more scope to learn something by doing something this syllabus is recommends an eclectic method and also for holistic approach it provides ample opportunities for the self learning and also learning to learn there is a lots of language games and activities are there so there is ample opportunities to learn something and 
this syllabus is the need best and age appropriate there is a lots of scope this syllabus is also provides ample opportunities for self learning and learning to learn there are lots of language games and activities where child gets scope for learning and also this syllabus is need best and age appropriate exactly exactly and there is scope for language development and there is also value education we correlate all subjects like art is there technology is there also craft activities are there so this is the revised syllabus yeah it's a fantastic that uh, revised syllabus has been integrated with all subjects, subjects. it has holistic and integrated approach so um, it's quite uh, fantastic features of revised syllabus and the textbook has been devised according to this uh, revised syllabus, syllabus features so my next question is for mangala ma'am ma'am can you tell us that what are the salient features of revised textbook sure ma'am the salient feature of bal bharati are first one is the book is child center yes. and child friendly as per as skill base and another is book is based on the constructivism mm -hmm. and activity based learning the book is in this book we have included learning to learn concept and known to unknown concept very important yeah, this is really you know what you think concept of going mm. beyond the textbook has been introduced as per as ncf principles more opportunities to develop communication skill through various games activities Activist. conversation exposure to the communicative english yes for example can you give me a pencil here it is thank you welcome fun time activities and language game are included in this book learning through the enjoyment yes important to the phonetics and use sound in pronunciation of words so listening practices has been given yes, yes. absolutely in this book teachers page newly introduce as a pathway or guideline for the teachers, teachers. teaching learning process hmm. the margin scaffolding is also there. Yes. yes each and every lessons and poems we have provided sight words hmm. to enrich vocabulary for students hmm. one of the feature in this book is correlated to different subject okay. bal bharati is the base on value education and 21st century skill helping children to learn by scaffolding wherever necessary yes. in this book we use a technology in this book we have spiral development approach for the learners every child has different needs according to that different graded activities given in the textbook for example classify the wild animals and domestic animals read and write down the related words in the blanks match the following things etc very nice ma'am so once we heard that uh, bal bharati is having so fantastic features now we are eager to see that how much uh, students will get exposure and opportunity to develop and express themselves yes. now everybody knows that day by day teachers are become more techno savvy they are doing some innovations in technology for the learners sake and for that purpose we heard that there are qr codes given in the textbook yeah so i would like to ask amruta ma'am what is the purpose giving qr code in the textbook yes sure as uh, you mentioned that we are living in techno savvy uh, era yeah. so uh, we are providing qr codes and uh, really happy that bal bharati is providing many opportunities to learn something by using technologies so uh, in a one sentence i can say that qr code is the treasure of knowledge here yes, teacher yes. parent and also children get more and more extension activities videos regarding the content audios in this qr codes 
that's why uh, i said that qr code is a treasure of the knowledge means it will give more information yes. pictures mm. videos yes. links, links and some instructions, instructions. also yes, yes, yes. and yes. it is useful for learners, learners teachers, teachers and, and parents. parents also means parents can take more and more practice yes, yes, of yes, their yes, yes. absolutely yeah and we have limitations of pages okay. so uh, we want to uh, give some extension activities for the children for the teachers and also for the parents so in this qr code after scanning this qr code they are able to get many extension activities and also references regarding this content so that's why we are including qr codes in each activity okay very nice uh, can you tell us that how exactly we can use this qr code yeah this is a very important question uh, we know that qr codes are printed in the textbook but how we can use this qr codes so there is a one app diksha app through this diksha app teacher have to download this diksha app from the play store and then we have to scan qr codes in the textbook then when teacher will scan the QR code, that time there will be a link. Then we have to click on the link and they will able to get uh, reference material or regarding the content. But at first teacher have to log in on Diksha as a guest login. So he or she will able to get extra material. And there are also many applications on the Play Store. QR code scanner is their latest version of scam scanner. So teacher have to just scan the code then there will be a link then you have to click on the link then they will able to get this qr codes information so like this anybody can use this qr codes to get extra knowledge from the textbook thanks for this wonderful steps guiding for our teachers and everybody so today we discuss about ncf scf and uh, what are the features of revised syllabus and textbook and it should be more fantastic that if uh, teachers use this textbook more creatively and innovatively, Absolutely. then definitely we will get success and we uh, our learners should get more achievement in language developing. Thank you for coming. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Namaste everyone. I welcome you all to the second session of Bal Bharti textbook standard one. Here in this session, we will be discussing about the content learning outcomes and teaching learning processes. So for the discussion, we have experts who worked for textbook development. I do welcome all of them to the studio. First of all, I would like to introduce Mr. Sridhar Nagar Goje, sir. Namaste. He is the member of core committee. Next one, I would like to introduce Sanjeevini Pawar, ma'am. Namaste. He is, she is from Mumbai. She worked for BOS as a study group. Next one, I would like to welcome Mr. Pradeep Patil. Namaskar. He is from Gadhchiroli. He worked for textbook development as a BOS. So, all of you, welcome to session. Thank you. Uh, as we know that the new textbook uh, is in market now, yes. is in the hand of teachers and parents and children and it's really been appreciable everywhere. I know the efforts are there, all, yes. are, all your efforts. So congratulations first of Thank all. You. Thank you. And uh, I would like to discuss, focus more on the textbook, its content, what are the learning outcomes, what are the teaching learning processes. Even the teachers want to yeah. know all these things. So I would like to more uh, focus more on that. So first of all, I would like to start with content. Okay. That uh, uh, I want to know that what did you work? Uh, what did you consider when uh, you design the content? Uh, as you know, when we design uh, or when we select a material for the first standard for language teaching, because language is not a content based subject. It is a skill based subject, but we need some supportive material that you are resource for learning and that when we find such stuff material, we have some guiding principles and we have some uh, that you call rules to follow those things that first we consider the child psychology yes. because children learn yes. naturally, exactly. but we don't break that natural in, uh, intensity and tendency of learning anything. Uh, well, when we design this book, uh, we consider some points. The first point that is a uh, psychology of the learners. Okay. Because student 
psychology is very important when designing any material or the course book or the book for a language learning because naturally they are very active and we keep that their activeness in the book also mm. also their active participation in the classroom and we design such type of activities where they can get more scope for active participation in the classroom okay that so would you like to support with any example for example when we have a conversation between the two students yes. there is a full scope of conversation okay again most of the activities we have given for guiding for them but they can personalize for them exactly for example we have given what's your name the name is given of one a boy or girl but they should not use the name of the which is given in the book oh, they can nice. use their own name yes yes that's very good idea yeah. that means children will feel that this book is mine mine yes. book yes. yes so we have given the name that that book bal bharti very but good. it has their possessiveness of their own learning very nice very nice concept at the same time uh, when we think they are learning so many things out of the classroom also but why do we teach the same thing which is already learned out of the school yeah. but we correlate the things that they have learned out of the schools to the class also okay. they should feel it is related to my life okay that means you have considered outside yes, world yes outside as well. the world because oh, and nice. most of the time we bring the outside world in the classroom also okay they should not feel that this is something boring okay. they should yes, feel interest yes, yes, again definitely. we think about their demands demands of the age group okay. they like the stories they like to sing they like to dance they like to do lot lot of things okay, okay. we consider all these things keeping preparing framing this book also very good that means it was really a, a challenging task yes. you know and this new generation is not receiving information for us okay. they are asking questions Oh. Yes, and we keep their creativity and curiosity in the classroom. Oh, so I would like to uh, add to this: when children uh, ask questions, mm -hmm. what will be the role of teacher there? Teacher should not. Will, will uh, the teacher shut, should not shut stop them? The no, 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 no. Encourage Can them to ask. Oh, very nice. Uh, yes. Yes. And give the different. Okay. Answers. We okay. have also yeah. taken the consideration of overall development of the student. Yeah. Exactly. Right? Yes. Okay. So their speaking skill, mm -hmm. at the same time their their listening mm -hmm. skill, mm -hmm. writing right. also, and Absolutely. their reading skill also. Okay. Okay. So we have taken all the things under consideration when we are designing the book. Yeah, that's very nice. So this is how the content has been designed. Yeah. The, that means that there there may be lots of efforts designing yes, content. Yes. Yes. So very good. I appreciate. Okay. And uh, I would like to know more about uh, the content. As you said that this is how you design. Yes. Now I'd like to know that how this content is useful for the children in uh, learning language at a primary level. As standard one is the base. Okay. So Sanjeevani, ma'am, would you like uh, yeah, yeah. to Actually, elaborate this? Yes. Like yes. Tell about it. As English language is a foreign language, the children coming to the first standard, they are small children. and they have zero experience about that language yes yeah so in our content we have see we have taken care of it that all the four skills that is listening speaking reading and writing all skills are achieved with the study skills also yes so what happened first of all we have taken the surrounding into consideration yes. and same way we have taken the pictures and ask children to name name them Okay. so this is taken yeah. then the recitation poems rhymes they that we have taken so that should be also match their surrounding and it should be happy also yeah. now the first song is our happy song so that happy song we have taken and below that that so song is fantastic students are uh, enjoying it but with that below we have given small small words also so that help them to make short poems yeah so oh. that is a special feature that they are developing their short poems oh. also oh, right. wow. and then we have even taken lots of conversations interaction interaction patterns to develop their communication skill then below each poem and lesson we have given them uh, words sight words yeah so that sight words means children should learn those words as a whole word yeah. yes so that is the important okay. thing also even we have given lot of types of stories that is different writing styles we have introduced so they can read also they can enact also so uh, in our one of the nikash of pragat maharashtra is that yes. children should that dramatize yeah. yeah dramatize enact the plays so we have taken short short stories and they are so interesting that children love to dramatize yes. it yes exactly. so that is also important part then the various games we have taken like be quick 
be quick we have taken and uh, we have uh, related it with the vegetables yeah so in that be quick the children uh, say the names of vegetables okay. now this uh, we, as we have limitation about the textbook pages we have given that one game mm -hmm. but that game we can relate to the whole year for the animals also yeah. for colors also and various topics mm -hmm. so now this is the extension the teacher has to take ah. yeah. Yes. Nice, nice idea. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I must say this is adaptation. Yeah, yeah. 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 that you really right. wanted to yeah. say. Yeah. Yeah. That basically, the children, we, are, yeah, basically we are trying to connect the students into the real world. Yeah. Yeah. Real, yes. yes. So yeah. We, are, we are not believe in the natural environment. We are just trying to connect the students' environment yes. into the real world. Yes. yes. In other words, we can say like as adaptation, parallel and extensive activities. Yes. One activity is given. But that activity is not uh, sufficient or enough for uh, taking practice exactly. of language learning. Exactly. Because yeah. language learning is a gradual and continuous process for a long time. Yes. They should take continuous uh, efforts and this that you call guided efforts. Yes. If there is no a proper guidance, what will happen? They will practice a lot, but they will not get the result. Yes. So we have given one activity. And the teacher and student can frame the other activities and they can get the practice and of all I, these things. I really liked your idea that you said the words are given yeah. and children can create their own, yes, their own yes. poem. Oh, yes, so yes, that yes. is very great idea. That, the that is a, one of the uh, that you call uh, feature of 21st century creativity. Creativity, yes. exactly. Yes. I would come to that yes, point. Nurture that, the creativity. Yes, yes. And yes. now your, the book is hmm. really supporting that thing. Yeah. So it's really appreciable. It is also uh, the, a part of self-learning. Yes. Yeah. Yes, we are so providing a kind of a platform to the students mm -hmm. so that they are learning themselves. Yeah. It's also considered as a constructivism. Yeah, okay. absolutely. That's so. very nice. And mm -hmm. uh, yes, yeah, yeah. Would you like to add, sir? Yeah, I have to mm -hmm. add many things oh. more. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, uh, one more game is there throw ball. Mm -hmm. In that throw ball, the children are asking questions that is, what's your name? Mm -hmm. and answering. Okay, so here only one type is given, yes. but the same teachers can continue whole year for asking the questions like what's your father's name? Yeah. Here they learn the apostrophe, what's your mother's mm -hmm. name? Mm -hmm. Then how old are you? Mm -hmm. Then where do you live? Mm -hmm. So they learn to form frame questions also. Okay. Yeah. And respond and appropriately. Yeah, respond, respond appropriately and even the uh, 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 functional grammar mm -hmm. like uh, pronouns yeah. yes. these all things also they learn but in a playful way yeah. okay. so that Very is the nice. most important thing so this game is not for one topic but it has to be continued for the various topics throughout the year mm -hmm. yes and then we can come out to the we can achieve the learning outcomes whatever Great. we have Great. fixed it in our mind second thing i want to say about the stories mm -hmm. about stories also when we have uh, uh, selected stories, we yes. have given some open-ended questions also there, yeah. okay. so that the children, uh, their thinking power will increase and uh, they will uh, think and answer, so that is their own creation. So a lot of stories with uh, uh, words also mm -hmm. given below mm -hmm. and various type of questions also we have included yeah. in yeah. it. So it is quite challenging for the children and interesting too. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So. That means uh, here you are focused both the learners. Yes. The, those who are good at their studies, they yes. can have scope by their self-learning. Okay. Also, you have supported with the actions, with the supported materials, pictures. So that is good that the who is slow in study, he can also study. Yeah. So that is very good. Yeah. I, I guess it will surely help children to yeah. make yeah. their yeah. all-round development. Even uh, string song is there. String song, then yeah. the word yes. pyramid is there. Mm. Word so pyramid. string song, word pyramid. That can be also taken on for different yeah. topics also. Yeah, so, actually, yeah, actually I have heard from various sources that uh, the book is really activity based. Mm -hmm. huh. In hands when the teachers have gone through, even the yes. parents have gone through the book. So feedbacks are coming yeah. that really it is an activity based book. So that will surely help to develop their uh, language. Yeah. Now I would like to more about uh, learning outcomes. As many of you mm -hmm, said mm -hmm, that mm -hmm. learning outcomes, learning mm -hmm, outcome. Mm -hmm. So I would like to more, know more about what are learning outcomes and uh, how do these learning outcomes are useful to achieve or to uh, learn in teaching learning process. Yeah. Ashfiya ma'am, this is really an important question because you know, Learning outcomes is uh, what we can say heart of all curriculum. Oh. We need to design learning outcome. We need to design learning outcomes. On the basis of learning outcome, we need to look after how we are. We have to design the curriculum. Okay. Well, learning outcome is a benchmark. 
hmm. or we can say in other word is a standard of a skill okay yeah. which will be achieved by the student okay learning outcomes tells us what the learner will be known by the end of a year mm-hmm. yeah. what Thank the you. learner will be known by the end of the year okay, okay it is actually a kind of a change which we are expecting as being a teacher we have designed the curriculum on the basis of learning outcomes learning outcomes is also a curricular expectation of a class mm-hmm. okay as you, we all know english is an international language yes we are using english in all over world definitely even we are using english in social media mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. we are using english mobile tv everywhere we are now using now we are english. crazy about yeah. now we are really crazy <laughs> about yes. it so what we are expecting from the student is we are providing platform to the student okay. to speak as much as possible so learning outcomes is also varies according to the ages yes the learning outcome which is meant for uh, standard 2 should not be meant for standard 7 so it varies according to the age oh wow that's very good point that yeah. means learning outcomes are different for different standards yes yeah okay yeah. Be. because uh, every standards learning expectations are different yes. if you go the same learning outcome to every class so they will not go to the next class that means uh, that is standard- all learning outcomes are graded okay yes that means you they, cannot they come implant- to one step to uh, higher steps and there is a gradient of the all skills also okay. listening speaking reading writing okay that means the outcomes which are meant for standard 1 they are only applicable to standard 1 yes one. yes okay and at the end of year they have to achieve there yes. oh yes these are the that you call your target at oh, yes. the end of the year yes that's very nice hmm. information pradeep sir you thank pointed you. out a very good points and uh, you also mentioned the graded thank hmm. you shridhar hmm. sir you mentioned <laughs> graded one yeah. so that is also a good clarification uh, now i would like to focus on some content hmm. the learning outcomes hmm. as you hmm. said that yeah. you uh, yeah. take into consideration hmm. Hmm. so how did you relate these learning outcomes with your content okay uh, when we have designed our textbook we have designed some activities and we have taken some authentic material from the children's literature yes because when you design a textbook for a language we need some children's literature so we have taken uh, stories and the poems and songs from the authentic material okay and on that material we have designed our own activities but when we design and when we frame activities and when we taken authentic material we have a guiding principle so we have a uh, insight of the learning outcomes learning outcomes has given us the direction we have to achieve that for for achieving that learning outcome you should have a material a resource we sh- we should have a meaningful source so okay. we have taken that meaningful source and we correlate with the learning out- out- outcome with the uh, okay. activities okay. for example uh, one learning outcome is that children should talk about his family talk about the things talk about the things talk about the uh, place or uh, describe about, about some things yes. so this is a learning outcome yes. so we have related this talk about yourself oh. talk about your family wow. that is the individual difference we keep in mind the question is the same but that question will not that call um, discontinue or a question will be not failed for the next student yes. the same question will be asked every student but ans- answers are different different yes. that we call open ended answers very nice most of the activities are open ended yes. when we give, give a close ended activity what will happen when we conduct the activity the fun will be finished yes i must say the conversation will end there yes uh, for example if, yes. if i ask you hmm. uh, do you like apples yeah whether you say yes, yes. or no huh. what else then hmm. so there is the conversation end yes. but i ask you what do you like the yes. most there will be the variety variety yeah. again likes different for example you are talking about my learning yeah. so likes different yes. if you talking about my uh, eating or eatables yes. the my likes or dislikes different yes. if you talking about the sports my likes and dislikes different yes so there is also a creativity in asking questions and responding in the answers also critical thinking as well yes. yes the question should be like that the children should think critically about mm-hmm. that mm-hmm. otherwise what will happen mm-hmm. he would just passively say yes, yes. or no mm-hmm. yeah so that will that won't give any creativity yeah. to the children that's very I good would, i would like to add one more point with what shridhar sir has recently said yes as far as the book is concerned we have come up with 16 learning outcomes mm-hmm. for bal bharti okay and uh, I, i i would like to give you four example out of these 16 oh very nice first one is differentiate between small and the capital yes yeah. okay right second is uh, say words with the proper stress and intonation mm-hmm. 
you can see when we have the stress in the words or our sentence the meanings change accordingly yeah. yes so we we have a uh, uh, content which we help for the mm. stress and the intonation mm. okay, mm. okay. Mm. and third one is narrate or enact a story mm. a familiar story yeah. yes. this is a really a good activity yes. for to develop the communications mm.